2,500 years ago, a man in India revolutionized the way we think of spirituality. Enlightenment, he said, is a perfect, satisfied state of mind we can all achieve, right here, right now. His name was the Buddha, which means awakened one. The Buddha's message spread all over Asia and took root strongly in the Himalayan region of Tibet. For over 1,000 years, Buddhism flourished in the land of snows. However, everything changed in the 1950s. The communist Chinese invaded Tibet, forcing the Dalai Lama and 150,000 Tibetans to become permanent refugees over the next 50 years. Yet, what was a tragic escape for thousands of Tibetan spiritual masters became a profound source of wisdom for those of us in the West. World peace will not come from sky or from earth or world peace cannot produce by mission, but uh, by true inner peace. Buddhism has gone from obscurity to wide acceptance, with interest from Hollywood celebrities, politicians, professionals, athletes, artists, and to former Jews and Christians. Why is it so popular? I think Tibetan Buddhism helps me to understand that being compassionate to others and understanding you know, the true nature of things helps me to, to interpret life and to deal with life in a way which is most effective, in a way which is most compassionate to others. And I think this compassion is, is truly what gives me the strength and the happiness and the, and the drive to, to do what I do in life. There were many groups that brought Tibetan Buddhism to the West. One group in particular was founded by Lama Yeshe and Lama Zopa Rinpoche, who have been instrumental in transmitting the practicality of Buddhism into Western lives. Some of their first students included soul-searching hippies and rebels, but everyone was welcome at Kopan Monastery, their base in Kathmandu, Nepal. From Kopan, the largest worldwide network of more than 136 Buddhist centers was born, the foundation for the preservation of the Mahayana tradition. I came here to Kopan to take a one-month course thinking that it would be good for me to learn meditation. And I also was so surprised to find such a deep understanding of the nature of life, the nature of suffering, and what we can actually do to overcome suffering. That was something I never even thought existed in this world. We do have power, human being. We do have power to change our lifestyle, to change our attitude, to change our habit. Lama Yeshe um, really captured my heart. It was as though I got to go beyond myself for a moment and experience this incredible happiness. And then Lama would say, yeah, that's it. That's what you're going for. And that kind of love uh, is what you can have for everybody. The FPMT has helped to transform lives with the guidance of many authentic teachers like the Dalai Lama, Lama Yeshe, and Lama Zopa Rinpoche, and through meditation and social activities. The message is simple world peace through inner peace, and inner peace through helping others. With the loving kindness, you benefit others. We see not only stop giving harm, we benefit others. Everybody needs loving kindness. From loving kindness, then you can achieve freedom. <laughs> There's only one of us over Rinpoche. Everything is compassion of Rinpoche, we're benefiting others. 
to see a, a, a you know, person in flesh and blood, you know, manifesting uh, loving compassion like all the Buddhas in the past have done. So, and that's rare. of bringing the Dharma to the West. And I really do feel from our Lama's efforts, we'll really have something solid with Buddha Dharma in the West that will have the numbers to be able to have much more of an impact, I hope, on world peace and inner peace. The Buddha's revolution of compassion and wisdom lives on.